The release of new cubes is just around the corner, and for Gan, this is always an extravagant moment. But will it be the same this year? To fully set the scene, let's go back to the release of the Gan 356X. This cube, as I have said many times before, was game-changing, with tons of new features. The XS also had some good new features, especially with the new GES system, and the 11 was excellent, with the introduction of core magnets. However, since then it does seem that Gan have gone downhill. The 12 introduced magnets which was somewhat exciting and it just sort of made the cube go faster and the 13 had repelling magnets which didn't really do that much so once again on both of these cubes they just resorted to changing the GES system with a slightly different design layout that does the exact same thing this just shows that over the last few years GAN have been running out of ideas to captivate the cubing market and like I mentioned the release of new cubes is coming up with most flagships being first shown in August to September but there's not that much cube companies can change and that could massively hurt GAN. Even with other cube brands we haven't seen that much of a new idea since a very long time ago which worries me. But what can we expect from GAN? Well if we follow the pattern from the last three years then we will probably see the GAN 14 in September. I'm going to assume that once again the GES system will be a replica of the last two years but with a slightly different design and then this cube will come with a maglev variant and a spring variant with the maglev having the option of UV coating. If this is sounding similar, then it is probably reminding you of the GAN 12 and 13, which both had a maglev and leap version, with the maglev coming in UV coating. Later in the year, GAN will also likely produce a new variant with magnets that are fixed in place for a cheaper price, much like they did with the 11 and 13. But that poses the question, what could they change? Well, I think that the magnets haven't had a good, exciting new update in quite a while. However, what they've currently got works fine, so I'm not sure how beneficial this change would actually be. What I'm trying to get at here is that I believe GAN have improved their cubes too fast, which has resulted in a lack of improvement in recent years due to all of the concepts being already released. However, I do have some hope. When the GAN 11M Pro was released, no one realised that there was a potential to change the magnets and develop core magnets. Yet GAN figured it out and changed the market completely. So what's to say that they can't do the same again? So now I ask, what could happen if GAN does release another lacklustre cube? Well, some people, like myself, will purchase the cube as it is new and everyone will be curious about it, but the majority of people will just stick with the previous year's flagships, as they will only be slightly worse, if not equal to the GAN 14. Other people will start to consider whether they can actually get more out of a mid-range cube, like the X-Man Tornado V3 or the WRM flagships, and this means that GAN should be incredibly worried if X-Man or Moyu bring something large to the table, as it is very likely that GAN could lose most of their buyers if they do not come up with something that changes the cubing scene. People are starting to move to cheaper options anyway now, as they do bring the same if not more than expensive cubes, so I definitely think that we could see GAN struggling with sales in the next couple of years if there is no big change in 2023. For the most part, we are actually seeing more improvements from the lower priced cubes compared to GAN cubes, as these other brands have slowed down their rate of improvement in order to still have new features even after this long. So whilst GAN gained so many more sales in the short term with the X, XS and 11, in the long term other brands will get many more sales as they are consistently making their products better and better at an equal rate every year. Another thing that helps this is that for the most part companies decide to go for one main flagship and pump all of their energy into that cube. For example the WRM 2021 only had a standard and maglev variant without making separate cubes with fixed core magnets and other outer piece finishes like UV or soft coated. And even though they did release a maglev and standard version, the maglev variant came out a while after the standard was released. Contrary to this, GAN makes a couple of different cubes and releases them all at the same time, which means that they have to split their time into developing different models rather than prioritising developing the main cube to a point where it is actually a good upgrade from the previous year. Let me know what you think GAN will change this year on their newest flagship.